Let's dive right in and examine the top 15 herbs for anxiety today on Eccentric Nature. Now these anxiety helping herbs are in no particular order, as each herb may very well affect you differently from the others. So to say one is truly the best is truly subjective in this category. But let's start our list off from a well-known powerhouse herb from India, Ashwagandha. I just hear that name and I shun it. Ashwagandha. Ooh. Found primarily in Northern Africa and India, this herb is one of the most powerful adaptogens, which affect your body's systems and hormones, allowing you to regulate stress. A 2019 study showed how taking ashwagandha can reduce the stress hormone cortisol. This is backed up by a 2012 study that showed up to 28% lower cortisol levels when taking ashwagandha. Now, studies show that ashwagandha is actually much better at long-term anxiety relief. Now, the only real knock that I found against ashwagandha is that studies have shown mixed results at a lower dose of the herb. The good news is that long-term studies have shown that those who took it for three months showed an upturn in mood, energy, and better anxiety levels. Number two, chamomile. Yep, saw that one coming. Perhaps one of the best known herbs for anxiety, stress relief, and sleep, chamomile is great for the long-term treatment of generalized anxiety disorder. And this according to multiple studies. One study even showed that it is better at reducing relapses of GAD as well. Research shows that the compounds in chamomile can bind to the same brain receptors as drugs like Valium. Most studies tend to focus on how chamomile can help lesser forms of anxiety. But a 2016 study showed chamomile to be also effective against medium to severe anxiety symptoms. Though it is one of the safer herbs you can take, chamomile can affect blood thinning drugs like warfarin and the anti-rejection drug cyclosporine. So of course it's best to consult with your doctor if you're taking other medications. Number 3. Valerian Let's not confuse this awesome herb with the movie Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets. Though both might be equally sleep inducing. While research does support how valerian can help with anxiety and depression, there just aren't a lot of studies available yet on valerian. Studies suggest that valerian is generally safe, but overuse can lead to headaches and dizziness. The biggest problem with valerian is that while it's okay with helping with anxiety, is that it's actually more helpful as a sleep aid, and people often report symptoms of drowsiness when taking valerian. So if you don't mind a little nap along with reducing your anxiety symptoms, knock yourself out with some valerian. Literally. Number 4. Lavender. This sexy beast has been shown to help anxiety symptoms as much as the drug lorazepam. And it's considered to be one of the most effective herbs for short-term anxiety relief. Long-term? The jury's still out. There is research that says lavender loses effectiveness when taken for a long period of time. But there isn't enough research yet to confirm this theory. So we really don't know how helpful it can be in the long term. Also, if you're taking lavender essential oil in capsule form, this has been known to cause constipation and headaches. Lavender can lower your blood pressure. And if this is something you don't want, you'll want to be careful about taking lavender as well. Number 5. Passion Flower while this lovely flower is quite effective at treating anxiety, it unfortunately has some downsides as well. A 2010 review showed that passion flower is comparable to a class of prescribed anxiety drugs known as benzodiazepines. Though another study said it didn't work as quickly as oxapam, another of the benzodiazepines. However, people did do better throughout their day when on passion flower than when on the drugs. Oddly, its biggest strength is also its biggest weakness. Passion flower is considered to be the best herb for anxiety-related insomnia, but it is also an incredible sedative and can cause some serious drowsiness, even more than valerian. So taking it for regular anxiety use can be a bit tricky. Number six. Hey, my name's Kava Kava, or you can just call me Kava for short. This amazing shrub from the Pacific Islands is the number one go-to herb if you're having an acute anxiety attack. A 2013 study showed that people who took kava kava extract showed a significant reduction in anxiety compared to those who received the placebo. Oh gosh, it sounds like a miracle herb, doesn't it? Unfortunately, there have been some conflicting reports on the potential long-term effects on the liver when taken in excess. So if you have liver problems at all, please consult your doctor. Number 7. Lemon Balm 
One of the best benefits of lemon balm is that, unlike some other herbs on this list, is that it can relax the body without people losing their clarity of thinking. In a 2011 study, 300 milligrams of lemon balm extract taken twice daily lowered anxiety by 15 to 18 percent. But even more awesome, it lowered anxiety-related insomnia by 42 percent. Like most herbs, lemon balm is considered safe, just in moderation, as overdoing it can cause nausea and abdominal pain. Number 8. Rhodiola Rhodiola? If you don't know this herb, it's time you did. Also known as golden root, arctic root, or rose root, this massive adaptogen is actually one of the most highly used in traditional medicine. However, according to research, it may be better for stress than anxiety. Research shows that it can help with mild to medium anxiety problems, but the results were pretty inconclusive. One study showed it to be not as effective as Zoloft or sertraline, though people did show far fewer side effects when they used rhodiola rather than the drug. Number 9. Vitex agnus castus, or chasteberry. If your biggest problem is PMS-related anxiety, then chasteberry is probably going to be the best herb for you. And this is still an herb, as it comes from the chaste tree, which grows in many warm temperature climates. Studies have shown it to be particularly effective at reducing anxiety and depression during PMS. Plus, it can help overall PMS symptoms as well. Guess who's back? Back again. To Merrick. Tell your friends. That's right! Is there nothing turmeric can't do? Thanks to its active agent, curcumin, this colossal anti-inflammatory also has research showing how it is particularly good at reducing anxiety associated with chronically activating your stress response. For best results, you want to take an extract for this. But turmeric is one you might want to avoid if you have an iron deficiency problem. Number 11. Brahmi. One of the lesser known herbs, Brahmi can increase your levels of serotonin, increase your peace of mind, and soothe restlessness. It also has the unique ability to improve cognitive function as well as help the body to cope with stress. And while it serves as a mild sedative, it can also enhance mental clarity and focus. Say what? Yeah, it sounds weird, but... This is the big problem with conflicting research, as there's studies that say it's good for clarity, and there's studies that say it's a sedative. Let's just hope you're more on that clarity side. Number 12, Tulsi Basil, also known as Holy Basil. According to the Journal of Ayurveda and Integrative Medicine, Holy Basil has antidepressant and anti-anxiety properties comparable to diazepam and other antidepressant drugs. One study found that people who took 500 milligrams of Tulsi Basil extract each day felt less anxious, stressed, and depressed. And they even felt more social! Ooh, party bonus! Number 13, CBD oil. Chalk up another big positive for cannabis oil, as a 2019 study found that of 72 adults, 57 experienced decreased anxiety within the first month of taking CBD. And they sustained these results for the whole three month study period. Yes, more research is still needed, but CBD is definitely the biggest up and coming herb for anxiety. Number 14, Galphemia glauca. Galphemia glauca is a plant species native to Mexico, and people there have traditionally used it for anxiety. A 2012 study showed that a daily dose of 0.175 milligrams of Galphemia glauca showed a greater reduction in GAD symptoms compared to those who took lorazepam. Now the only problem with this plant is that it's a little bit more rare, and it might be a little bit more expensive depending on where you're at. And finally, number 15, hops. Beer lovers everywhere, rejoice! Actually, don't, because hops is only good for you medicinally without the alcohol. And you're gonna wanna take pure hops in pill or powder form. There are various studies showing how hops can help improve cortisol levels and help with sleep, depression, and anxiety. Though like several other herbs on this list, it can cause tiredness. Also, if you're allergic to hops, you may experience a mild rash or congestion if taking it. So that's the top 15 herbs for anxiety. Which of the herbs on this list have you tried for anxiety before? Have any of them helped you? Please let me know in the comments section down below. If you're loving learning about the benefits of herbs, then you should watch the benefits of lavender tea next, or all the benefits of peppermint next. Please, be kind, take care of each other, and may all of these anxiety-helping herbs help you.